So once you've taken it off, then lie it flat on your table. And we're going to be needing some straight pins, a couple of straight pins. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas for refashioning clothing. And if you're into that sort of thing, consider subscribing and let's get started. This is the top I'm going to be refashioning. Can't wait for this project. It's very effective, um, but the process to get there is very simple. It's only about two rows of stitching and then you're done and you've got this amazing top. How cool is that? So what I need to do first of all is to try this on so that we can get the, the draping effect to the front. Um, mine's a little bit asymmetrical, but you can also have it very centered as well. So I'll show you that when I try it on and start the draping effect. So I'm gonna do that now. As you can see, the top is oversized. So do bear that in mind to get um, a top that is a couple of sizes bigger than what you are and you're going to need a safety pin. So in order to get that draping effect that comes from the bust area and you get this waterfall effect from the waist down to the bottom of the top, you're going to need to pinch the side. The side seems out here. So it really will depend on the top and also the amount of lycra that's in the top that you're using and pinch a little bit from the other side and just play around. That's good. That's not bad. Well, it's a bit too much, I think. So it really is a case of creating the drapes that you want, that you're looking for. Oh, that's nice. And just pinching it and just moving it around your body so you get the effect that you're looking for. And so you can also do it at the front. Pinch, and just gather, and just have it in the centre, like so. I want it a little bit on the side. Going for a little bit of an asymmetry kind of look. Yeah, that's nice. Where, where you position it is going to be up to you because you could have it all the way up here if you wanted to. You wanted to create it just under your bust. I'm doing a man on my waistline. And it really just depends on how many, how much draping effect that you want. I'm happy with that. It's gaping a little bit at the underarm, so it's a little bit big there so I'm going to have to take that in at the sides. That isn't going to be a problem. That's nice. You yeah, liking that effect. It's just messing around. Don't mess around too much at this stage. I know I am a bit up because what's going to happen is that you're going to have to do a second fit and the reason is that we need to sew this one in position and then you've got once this sewn in position the drape behind it are not sewn into position um, which I'll obviously explain that to you as we go through. So I get my safety pin. And just pin that into position. Let's see if wants to do any more. Turn on the back so you can see the back. Like I said, the underarm it's a bit on the big side, so it will be a case of tapering that into the side seam, and that isn't a problem, that won't be an issue. And there we go. Yes, now we've got to tell that fits me now. So once you've taken it off, then lie it flat on your table. And we're going to be needing some straight pins, a couple of straight pins. And we're gonna use these straight pins as markers. So as you can see where I've pinched and held it in place, I'm going to insert a pin on each side of where I pinched it in order to create this effect and the other on the other side. 
like so. Then remove the safety pin. And you've got two markers there. Now that will help when you come to turn it on the wrong side because we need to sew that into place. So gently turn it to the wrong side. And then let's match these pins up. You're gonna need a third pin. You can feel where the pin heads are. Then put this pin in position like so. Then go to the right side and remove the pins. There we go. And I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to start sewing from this point here to here. It's only a small amount of stitching that I will be doing. Okay, so it's a case now of, you can actually stop at this stage if you just wanted one row of stitching. Um, it just means that you probably have to play around with the draping effect every time you wear it or you can go for the other option which is what I'm going to do is just find the best kind of gathering of, of the fabric that you like that's oh that's nice I like that's what's happening here and then maybe just play around with the bottom so that you get the effect that you're looking for at the bottom here that's nice and that is when I'm going to put two pins in place. Get my straight pins and then just place them. Make sure you're happy with the placement of how you're draping. Because once you do this method, it's more or less permanent, double permanent. So get your pin and then just place it in position like so the pin and just make sure it's flat underneath yeah the pin yes I'm happy with that and it's a good idea that if you've got that gaping effect that I had to sew that down before you know you finalize the way you want that draping to be now we've got to top that fits with little effort. Yeah, that's cute. That is really cute. Okay, I'm now ready to sew those into position and then this project will be done. So this is where I'm going to sew, along here and along that side. Um, you can sew a straight line. I'm gonna come slightly at an angle to create like a little pointed arrow. Let me show you the wrong side. So those pins are holding those pleats together. See, so there's the pins. And there. But we're going to sew on the right side. So I'm going to take that to my sewing machine now and sew those into place. And then the project will be completed. The garment will be ready to wear. Just flip your work onto your sewing machine and make sure it's flat as possible because you don't want to have any lumps or bumps under there. The pins should be holding the pleats or the gathering of or the draping effect in place. So it's just a case of then just sewing. It's now stitched into place. You can see mine's slightly angled. That's the front, so let me show you the back. And also, let me show you how I've taken in the side as well. So that it fits better at the underarm.
tips and advice. Um, tips and advice. I would definitely recommend that you would, if you have the same problem that I did where there's gaping under the arm, to do that first before tackling the draping effect. That would be key to make sure you've got a good fit that you're looking for. Use stretch needle, because um, this is really, really stretchy. Not all um, knitwear is stretchy, so do bear that in mind. Use a stretch stitch if you've got stretch it on your sewing machine or slight zigzag, or even um, a, a straight stitch if you don't have any of those. That's still fine. It will still hold those gathers into place. You can do a lot more smaller um, stitching that I did as well, because mine was about... They're about uh, about 2.5 centimetres, maybe five centimetres, an inch, an inch and a half. Um, could be, uh, could have, yeah, could be just as effective with half, half an inch or, um, or an inch. It really is dependent on you, and also the, 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 the actual top that you're working with as well. Do pay, um, some attention to that. Um, it's a great way to, um, make a, a top smaller. You don't always have to take it in at the sides. And yeah, that's that's about all that I could um, share with you with as far as advice and tips are concerned. So that is a fun way to make a vest top smaller, just adding that detail, all that gorgeousness. So you can either have it at the front or at the side. It really is up to you. Probably could even have it on both sides as well. That's an idea. So if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and please do share. And I will see you next time.